Hi guys and welcome back. In this video I'm just going to share a quick update on how my Robinhood portfolio is doing. But before I continue on, I just want to let you know that I am not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment purposes only. I also started a Patreon Discord page where I'm trying to find like-minded people who are interested in making money in the stock market. I will also be sharing my trades with you guys as well and you will be collaborating with 50 other members in the Discord. If you are interested, check out my link down below. We would love to have you there. So it started out well this morning and then it ended up in red. And that's mostly from AMC, BlackBerry, Nokia. And let's take a look at the one year. The one year, it is still up 54%, all time high 54%. So we'll go down the list. I like selling options and selling options gives me instant income every week or every month. So we have cash to care puts and cover calls. So the cover calls I did on AMC, they're gone. I was able to make about $14 and you might think that's not a lot. Well, that's only two contracts, but if I had sold earlier for a future date, we see more premium. So it just depends on when you sold the contract, for what expiration date, and for what strike price. Of course, the closer it is to the stock price, you're going to get more premium. Now, I understand that people are scared that there's going to be a short squeeze. Yes, there might be one. And if there is, all we have to do is just roll over the contract. I've been picking a strike price that's at least above $15. And we have Genius Cash to Care Puts, SOS. I have a lot of Cash to Care Puts on that. Let's see how SOS is doing right now. So SOS is not doing great. It's at 487 And all my options expires next week. I do have a choice of rolling it over if my option does get breached. And how do we do that on a Robinhood is go to trade view all options we're going to hit select what we're going to do is first we're going to buy it back by the put back let's say the 550 since the stock price is below and then we're going to sell the following week sell puts selected and sell the 550 strike price the same strike price it's going to be confusing because if you have a lot of negative one but it's in green and then it's also in red and then we can receive $15 in credit. You might think that's not a lot of money, but $15 for one contract adds up very quickly. And I can keep rolling this, keep collecting about $10 to $15 every week until the option expires worthless or I want to get a sign, meaning if the stock price is still below $550, I can buy it at $550. And by collecting all that premium, it reduces my cost basis essentially. So we'll go back. We have BlackBerry cover call, same thing. So this is a BlackBerry 14 call. If we take a look at BlackBerry's price right now, it's at 860. So I had to sell some cover calls. So it's actually my first time selling cover calls on BlackBerry on this account. It's because, yes, I was afraid BlackBerry is going to go up. But honestly, I just sell it where my cost basis is. That way I can offset the loss sort of because i am down quite a bit and i have about 800 shares so i was able to get 16 dollars for every every 100 shares that i have this is just a great strategy if you guys are down on a stock and you just want to be able to generate extra income to offset that cost basis and then we have bngo this is a cash secure put i was able to collect 98 dollars on this one and then a lot of JAGX. So let's take a look at JAGX. JAGX is trading at 197. I was able to collect a pretty decent premium, $76. It expires in two weeks, so there's plenty of time for the stock to go up. Nano Dimension is another cover call that I did. Received $22. And then Sense, Genius, JAGX, more Sense. And now we're getting to the call options. Call options. I bought AMC call options, 10 contracts, made about 10 grand back in January when the stock price went up. And I bought these options back in December and I bought them deep in the money leap options. And then we have Nokia leap calls. So I bought these pretty late. You can tell when I bought them by how much I've lost already. So for this one, it's a five strike price. Thankfully, it expires in 2023, and Nokia hasn't moved at all. It's been below $4 for a very long time. 
and that's just because they have a lot of shares outstanding unfortunately and I'm down about $3,700 now we get to the stocks AMC I have 200 shares so AMC underperformed today so for those people that bought call options uh, 10 or above 10 or above they expired worthless and that's unfortunate that's why I rather sell cash secure puts at least I can get the stock at a discounted price and now we have some Nikola Vaxar Blackberry this is the one I was showing telling you about I'm down about $3,500 800 shares since 100 shares Nokia 1100 shares I'm down about 1,000. Nano Dimension and then Sundial has been underperforming as well. So I did a cash of care put on Sundial at a 150 strike price. I decided not to roll it over because there's no point in rolling that over. I was able to collect $40, bringing my cost, my break even price to 110. So essentially it's like buying at this price now it's if i had bought it at 150 and not had collected any premium i would be down 40 dollars instead of breaking even and then we have luquan assertio funware so a lot of penny stocks have been down i've noticed that's pretty much it i still have 600 dollars in buying power and i have a lot of options that expire next week so i'll have more money freed up next week so next week I will get my collateral back from these four options that expires next week. Unless I roll it over, then I'll have to wait another week until they expire out of the money. That's pretty much it, guys. Let me know how well you did. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the like button if you got this far. And also, do consider joining the Patreon Discord page. I'm just trying to start a community where we can share ideas and become a better investor and trader. Thanks so much. I do share my updates in the market gold investor tier. And I am just trying to find people where we can talk about stocks, cryptocurrency, and options. And just growing as a community and growing our accounts together. Trading, investing can be lonely. And you just want to be able to do it with a community. So do consider joining the Patreon page. Thanks so much. Hi there. If you are interested in helping out the channel, you can sign up for Weeble if you haven't already. They are currently offering two free stocks now. It used to be four. So you don't want to wait until it gets to one free stock or no stocks at all. So you get one free stock when you open up a Weeble account. And when you deposit $100 or more, you get one more free stock, which is valued between $8 and $1,600. And if you are transferring from another brokerage, they will reimburse you the fees up to $100. And you will also receive a complimentary three-month subscription to Level 2 Events NASDAQ Total View from the day you sign up. So guys, what are you waiting for? Two free stocks are waiting for you.